Hi everyone, always back here. Welcome to VFX 101. I hope you like this video. Okay, let's start the class. First, go to the JengaFX.com, then click start your free. Okay, next, uh, fill the uh, basic form. Uh, first name OS and OS 3D at the red gmail.com and click by checking and by checking and click I am not robot and hit download now. After the downloading, uh, run the installer. Uh, simple. It's very simple. Uh, then wait for a second. Okay, launch the immersion software. Okay, this is the immersion software. Very cool. Oh my god. Okay, first click the simulation and under the simulation we have a lot of uh, uh, volumetrics and different emitters um, uh, options. So first click the emitter uh, node and add, uh, add the additional pressure rate. Now you can see the um, a difference, major difference and if you change the temperature you can easily uh, of the uh, fire and smoke if you already know about the uh, particle simulation if you use the 3d studio max Houdini, maya and uh, for soft image xsi and a blender so, in, so you can easily use this software so uh, i'm trying to uh, create something new so simple i change the uh, additional pressure again and you can see the difference the main purpose of this video is uh, i want to show you uh the magic of immersion this is a real-time simulation software okay open the uh, next file okay and hit play oh my god it's 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 magic it's magic so what are we waiting for go to the jank fx and download the software and create a stunning visual effects Okay, let's uh, create a uh, tornado, fire tornado. Uh, open the uh, uh, tornado file. Okay, hit a space bar to play. Nice. It's it's really cool. Awesome. Oh my god. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, uh, you know uh, the it's a real time simulation. Uh, okay. Uh, first. Uh, if you want to add some fire click the emitter properties and change the fuel rate and okay the fire is uh, add okay then uh, add some more fuel rate cool next uh, scroll down and where is the okay uh, burst value increase the burst value size Okay, bus sides and again refresh. Oh, wait for a second. Okay, next uh, uh, decrease the smoke rate and little bit fuel rate. Okay, uh, it's it's totally changed. Okay, next uh, again uh, rotate. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Okay, refresh and play again. It's it's moving all right now it's totally changed awesome okay next time to uh, render okay how to render uh, how to export in PNG form first like the uh, camera uh, on a default button and play okay and set the camera view all right yeah this is okay and okay again uh, click the preview button and select the capture uh, scene and add uh, render combine node and right click a uh, node graph and add the export image and combine the r to r means rgb alpha r to r g to g b to b and a to a and the, uh, click the export sequence and use a uh, absolute frame okay next I want to add some uh, frame read uh, frame number sorry so I double click and 280 frames type the 280 frames and uh, next I want to change the uh, resolution 
uh, so uh, frame rate size so first i select the output folder and select the png format and change the spread size 1280 by 1080 okay next click export now now is exporting in png format next jump to the after effects okay and uh, import the image sequence and drag on a timeline okay and press zero for ramp preview awesome okay simple duplicate the uh, tornado file and set the time duration and again duplicate and move the move on a right right direction and hit the space bar so uh, uh space bar cool if this video is helpful to you like and share this video more much as more subscribe the vfx 101 and must press the bell icon thank you